Hello, my fellow philosophers. Stu for Stu Philosophy, the Drunken Philosopher here. I want you to do something for me. Rub your face like this. When you do that, you're actually rubbing skin cells off of your body. They come off your body and float away. You can't see them. You can't see the individual cells. Let's imagine we can zoom in close enough that we can pick out a single cell. Now let's take that cell and let's break it up all the way down to its individual atoms. And let's zoom in even farther until we can see the individual atoms. And then let's choose one of the atoms. Now let's break it up some more. Get rid of the electrons. Break up the hadrons. Zoom in even more until we can see the quarks that make up one of those neutrons or one of those protons. And then zoom in to just one. Now imagine that quark. Now let's zoom all the way back out to our size and imagine how incredibly minuscule and insignificant that single quark is and what what that quark is to us what is it to us well, it's nothing to us you're not aware of that quark you never will be it's nothing to you you won't miss it now that it's not part of your body you know that one quark is just one out of however many however many quarks it, it takes to create the... Anyway, that quark is to us what we are to the universe. We mean nothing to the universe in having been born. One more human on this tiny dot. The whole earth itself is less to the entire universe what a single quark is to our entire body. It hasn't even noticed that we're here they won't notice when we're gone. We are of no value whatsoever to the universe. So the only thing that will give value to your existence is you. And so if you don't value yourself, don't expect anything else in the universe to do so either. I think my favorite one is that using the same analogy, that quark is significant in creating something larger. If that quark doesn't show up for work, that changes everything. What it would be with that quark is not going to be what it would be without that quark. And so we are a part of this universe, of this strange fabric that we live within, that we aren't aware of any more than fish are aware of the water. We are a part of it and we have our influence on it. That, that does make us significant to the universe. Everything we do has an influence on things within our sphere of influence. Take, for example, an ant making its way back to its nest. And I stick my foot in front of it, and so it has to stop, pause, then finds its way around my foot. I've interfered with that ant making its way back home. Every interaction it has with the universe from that point forward is different than it would have been had I not put my foot in front of that ant and influenced its path. And so that ant's influence will now be different than it would have been had it not had to go around my foot. And so it will influence its whole universe, everything within its sphere of influence, differently, which will affect everything within his sphere of influence, within their spheres of influence, and on and on it goes throughout the whole universe. So every tiny little thing I do affects the very structure of the universe. Our being affects the structure of the universe. Thanks to Einstein and his model of relativity, we are able to measure our very impact on the physical structure of the fabric of the universe. Everything down to the tiniest quark has its effect on the fabric of space-time. And so certainly it could be argued that your influence on the universe has significance, but is that the same as having value? While I have my influence on the universe, the universe will get along with or without me. In the grand scheme and the eternities that is the universe, my existence will not even be noticed. And so for me, it always just comes back to, is your counterargument demonstrating that there is objective value to your existence? Or are you saying that this is the way in which you found value for your existence? I don't mind seeing the alternative viewpoint, so uh, 
Till next time, philosophy on, my fellow philosophers.